What's up? I'm Miles Matthews, and today we're going to make this shirt right here out of spray paint. The process starts uh, with a computer. Usually I search the web for inspiration for a design or just uh, make my own uh, using Photoshop. Uh, so I'm going to use uh, Google Images. I'm just going to Google ice cream stencil. And then you can see a wide variety. I'll pick, um, let's see, I'll choose this one right here. It's a nice little stencil. I put it into Photoshop. I'm going to save you guys some time. I cut it out, just used one of them. And so now from this uh, ice cream, I'm just going to print it out on some construction paper to my printer. So I've gotten a lot of practice with the X-Acto knife, and I can cut out pretty fast with these relatively big and simple objects. It's not that difficult. When you do more refined work, you might have trouble. Sometimes your stenciling can take up to an hour. This is a pretty simple one, so I should be able to do it relatively fast. To save some time, I uh, cut out, uh, sh showed you the final project. As you can see, all the shapes are cut out. And now we're ready to uh, put this on the shirt and spray paint it. So this is the shirt I'm going to be uh, making the stencil on. It's a small v-neck. You uh, stretch the shirt out over a piece of cardboard so that it's easier to put your stencil on and work with. Um, any, any, any piece of cardboard works from a box or anything. Instead of just placing the stencil right down on the shirt, um, I'm going to use this thing called Easy Tack. It's a spray adhesive you can buy at your local art store for probably, I don't know, five bucks. You, um, you spray the back end of it, it kind of comes out in this, you can't really see it, but you spray the back end and you place it down on the shirt. Make sure you're uh, placing it right where you want it. Um, sometimes it's hard to get it right in the center, I usually just eyeball it. And then you want to press it down so the spray adhesive really sticks to the shirt and your stencil is in the right spot. That looks pretty good. Spray painting is kind of a messy process, so you'd want to put little paper around the edges so you don't, when you spray paint, you don't go off to the edge of the shirt uh, filling outside the stencil. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do this black uh, cone. Um, we're actually gonna use the spray adhesive again to just separate the cone from the ice cream. I'll just put that down right there. Now, um, we'll just spray the cone. It's not that difficult. It's pretty easy. Now, take this up. And you can see nothing, no black out on the, the ice cream. Now we're gonna uh, do the actual ice cream. So a little bit more spray adhesive. Time we'll cover up the black part, and now I'm just gonna um, I'm gonna go ahead with the uh, the spray paint kind of in succession, uh, and we'll see how it goes. Now we're going to remove the papers and we're going to see the final product for the shirt. <clears throat> so here's the shirt. Uh, it looks pretty nice. I'm not complaining. Hopefully uh, May likes it. <laughs>